Congratulations! Your HVO Pro Series oxygen generator has arrived and you can begin to enjoy carefree, economical, and safe oxygen generation. After removing the HVO system and contents from the crate, unbox all of the items. The parts in the HVO system include the HVO main unit, one or more relay boxes, a three outlet 20 amp relay box, or five outlet 30 amp relay box, machine cords for the system and relay boxes, coaxial cables to connect the main system with the relay boxes, and manifold lines to connect the system with oxygen concentrators. Begin by attaching your high flow, low pressure regulator to the side of the tank. Tighten with a wrench to ensure a good seal that will not leak. Position the concentrators on shelving and test each one individually by plugging it into a wall outlet and turning it on to verify that it's functioning. If you have an oxygen purity tester, you can verify the concentrators are operating optimally. Once everything is positioned, plug the oxygen concentrators into the relay box and attach the machine cord to the relay box. Connect the manifold fittings by hand tightening to the oxygen outlets from your oxygen concentrators. You may need to gently wiggle the fitting while hand tightening the brass nut for a snug and secure connection. Various models of concentrators have different fittings. The HVO Pro Gen 10s have oxygen tubing that has a push connection. High volume oxygen manifolds consist of push to connect fittings. If you need to disconnect a line, push in on the black ring of the manifold fitting and pull the tubing out of the hole. If you remove a concentrator, make sure to plug the hole in the manifold with the extra plug you received in your welcome packet. If you have or add more than three concentrators, you will connect an additional manifold using the same push to connect fittings and tubes. Once all of the concentrators are connected to the manifold, you can insert the line into the oxygen inlet on the rear of the HVO system. This is also a push to connect fitting. If you need to remove the line, push in on the black ring of the fitting and then pull the tubing out. Attach the machine cord to the back of the HVO system. Attach the coaxial cable to the relay box by threading on to either coaxial connector. Make sure the connection is secure and hand tightened only. Over tightening with a tool can damage the connections. Attach the other end of the coaxial cable to the rear of the HVO system by screwing onto the threaded coaxial connector. Again, hand tighten only. If you have more than one relay box, you will connect those with an additional coaxial cable. Using either coaxial fitting, hand tighten the cable to connect the two relay boxes. Plug the HVO system into an outlet on a dedicated 15 or 20 amp circuit. Plug the relay box into a separate outlet on its own dedicated 20 amp circuit. If you have a 5 outlet relay box, this requires a dedicated 30 amp 110 volt circuit. Flip the switches on the oxygen concentrators to the on position, then turn on the HVO main unit. There's a 30 second startup period after you turn the HVO system on. After that period, the concentrators will power on. Adjust the flow valves on the oxygen concentrators by turning the knob to open or restrict the flow. Dial the knob until the flow meter reads between 9 and 9.5 and liters per minute. After a short warm-up period that allows the concentrators to come up to full purity, the high volume oxygen system will turn on and begin to build pressure slowly. You will be able to monitor the pressure as the system fills on the analog pressure gauge as well as on the digital LCD screen. Some HVO systems come with a lead flow valve depending on the concentrators you're using with your system. The lead flow valve uses push to connect fittings and is placed in line with the oxygen manifold from the concentrators to the HVO system. Make sure the arrow on the lead flow valve is following the direction of the flow from the concentrators to the HVO system. Adjust the lead flow valve to be fully open by turning the knob counterclockwise Set the flow meters on the concentrators so they are fully open. 
Adjust the lead flow valve by turning the knob clockwise until the flow on the concentrators drops to 9.5 liters per minute. Your HVO Pro Series oxygen system has the ability to send important operational data to the cloud. This allows you to keep track of tank pressure, oxygen purity, and environmental factors such as temperature and humidity in the system enclosure. While the system continues to fill, you can find the Wi-Fi setup mode. Your HVO system will broadcast a Wi-Fi network called HVO Setup that you can configure using a Wi-Fi capable device such as a smartphone, tablet, or desktop computer. Once connected to the HVO Setup network, enter the password HVO for the win. Now you can open a browser window on the connected device and connect to the setup IP address. You will be asked to enter the last four digits of your serial number, which is displayed on the LCD screen. The serial number may include letters. In this case, the serial number is 0BAC. The next screen will prompt you to connect to your Wi-Fi network. The drop-down menu should show your Wi-Fi network and you can enter your network password in the text box. After completing the CNI Wi-Fi setup, your HVO system will restart and be connected to your network. Your network name will now be displayed on the LCD screen. In the case that your network or password changes, you will need to reset the system to the HVO setup network and repeat the process. You will only need to do this if your network or password changes. Begin by opening the box on the top of the HVO system while the system is not charging. Find the HVO control box and press and hold the reset button. After six seconds, release the button and the message reset will scroll across the black box as the system re-enters Wi-Fi setup mode. Repeat the steps to reconnect to your Wi-Fi network. You can skip the Wi-Fi setup process if you prefer to hardwire your system to the network using an Ethernet cable. You will need to supply an Ethernet cable that is long enough to connect to your router. With the HVO system powered off, remove the screws and open the box. Two people can work together to snake the Ethernet cable through the hole at the bottom of the platform the HVO box sits on. The cable is then plugged into the Ethernet port on the HVO control box. After connecting to the network, close and secure the HVO box. Now you can use your registered email address to log into the HVO CNI cloud monitoring portal. Logging into the CNI portal will allow you to view a historical graph of your high volume oxygen systems data for up to one year. The graph will display critical data such as tank pressure and oxygen purity, as well as diagnostic data such as temperature and humidity. You can set up text or email notifications to be sent if the metrics drop outside of a desired range. You can also remotely check in on your system. Congratulations! Your high volume oxygen system is now installed. There's no need to turn the oxygen concentrators or HVO system off as your oxygen production is now automated. If you have questions, visit our FAQ or support page, email us at support at highvolumeoxygen.com or call 402-476-0555.